Before we get into my Ed Donatel replacement, I want to make sure you guys are subscribed. Because this offseason for our Minnesota Vikings, it's going to be crazy. And we're going to keep you guys up to date with all the Vikings news, rumors, and whatever it may be. Make Vikings now your off-season hub. My goal is to get 25 new subscribers on today's video. I know there are 25 of you that are watching this and aren't subscribed. If you want to stay up to date on all Vikings news, rumors, or whatever it may be, go hit that sub button below. It really helps me out. So clap it up, Vikings fans. Ed Donatel was fired yesterday. We can all kind of take a deep breath because as the hours went on yesterday, I was getting a little nervous. So on today's video, I'm going to be going over my top 10 Ed Donatel replacements who I think could be the next defensive coordinator for our Minnesota Vikings. But there's one thing I kind of want to get on the table first, and this is kind of my take. If this was done midseason, the firing of Ed Donatel, I think the Minnesota Vikings would still be playing football right now. If you remember that Cowboys game when they got blown out 40-3, to I think the Vikings would have had a better chance just cutting, ripping the band-aid off with Ed Donatel right there and moving forward with somebody else. And I think the Vikings would still be playing because look at these defensive numbers from this past year. 30th in points per game. 31st in yards per game. 30th in yards per play. 21st in rush yards per game and 31st in pass yards per game. If you looked at these numbers, you would think this is a team drafting in the top five in the NFL draft in a couple months. The Vikings defense this whole year was awful. I just think if they would have cut bait with Ed Donatel, maybe mid-year, maybe after that Cowboys game when they got embarrassed, I think the Vikings would still be playing football right now. But before we get into my realistic top 10 options, I want to give an honorable mention right here because I've seen some talk about it on Vikings Twitter. I have to say it. Mike Zimmer. Bringing back Mike Zimmer to become the Vikings defensive coordinator. First off, it's not going to happen. It would be a ton of fun, though, if you could just say, hey, Zim, focus on defense. You would still be one of the best defensive coordinators, I believe, in the NFL. And then obviously a bunch of the guys like Harrison Smith, Eric Hendricks, Daniel Hunter, they all excelled in Zimmer's scheme. Just an honorable mention for Mike Zimmer. But I'm curious what you guys have to say. Hypothetical world. If Zim said, hey, I want to be the Vikings defensive coordinator and you were the GM, would you bring back Zim? Give me a Y for yes, N for no. I'm really curious about what you Vikings fans would have to say on this one. Now let's get into my hot board. Coming in at number 10 is Jim Leonard. He was the interim head coach this past season for Wisconsin, and he was also the defensive coordinator. I think this would be a pretty interesting hire if the Vikings would kind of bring him up. Obviously, him going from college to the NFL. It would be curious to see how Jim Leonard would do. Now, number nine, I got Vance Joseph. He's currently actually the favorite to be the Cardinals job, according to the bookmakers out west in Vegas. It was Sean Payton for a little bit, but Vance Joseph overtook the odds for becoming the next Cardinals head coach. This one's a little unlikely, but it would be a lot of fun if we could bring in Vance Joseph, a ton of experience. Now at number eight, this is one of my favorite ones on the list. Somebody who actually interviewed with the Vikings last season, and that's Sean Desai. Sean Desai, he, as of right now, he is the defense or he's assistant head coach for the Seattle Seahawks. And like I mentioned, he interviewed to be the Vikings DC last year. Sure wish we would have went back in time and hired him instead of Ed Donatel, but he's currently the associate head coach and defensive assistant for the Seattle Seahawks. And he does run a 3-4 defense just like Ed Donatel did. I would be very curious to see what Sean Desai does, where he ends up in the league, because I think his name, he's been thrown around for a lot of defensive coordinator positions in the NFL, especially in Miami and obviously Minnesota. Coming in at number seven, I got the D-line coach from the Buffalo Bills, Eric Washington. It seems like Buffalo, every single year, their defensive line, and they never really have a household name until Von Miller got there, but every single year, it seems like Buffalo has a top five defensive unit or defensive line unit in the NFL. What he's always able to do with Gregory Rousseau and Ed Oliver and a bunch of those dogs over there in Buffalo, it is very, very good interesting to see how he would play out as a defensive coordinator and this my whole number one kind of beef I've had with this Vikings defense this past year I think they've been soft and every single time I've watched a Bills defense play 
They lay the boom. They're a very physical defense. They're very aggressive defense. Eric Washington, a sneaky, sneaky choice to become the Vikings' next defensive coordinator. He's also one of my favorites. Ezro Evro, the current defensive coordinator for, Den for the Denver Broncos. He's actually getting some head coaching buzz around the league, and for right reason. I mean, the Broncos' defense this past year was fantastic. They were fifth in yards. And all this, by the way, is with a Russell Wilson most of the year giving this Broncos defense a short field, and they still put up really, really solid numbers. They were fifth in yards. They were 196.9 passing yards given up. In comparison, the Vikings gave up 266. They were sixth in the NFL. Rush yards per game, 117 points per game. They had a top 10 scoring defense with the dumpster fire that was going on over in Dem Denver on the offensive side of the football. They were still able to be a very solid defense. And week one, this is what I love the most about him. They had five starters out from their week one game against the Seattle Seahawks. And he was able to overcome and still get the most out of this defense and trading Bradley Chubb mid-season. Keep your eyes on Ezra Evero as a sneaky, honestly, he's a hot head coach candidate, but I think he would be a great fit in Minnesota. I want you guys to chime in here. Confidence level that you think the Vikings defense can turn it around next season. Do you think the Vikings defense, they were awful this past year. Do you think a new defensive coordinator, Maybe some new players in there, and we have a cut candidates video coming out tomorrow. Some key names on the defensive side of the football. But do you think this Vikings defense can turn it around for next season? Give me your scale, your confidence, one through ten. Number five, Brian Flores, former head coach for the Miami Dolphins. This past year, he was the linebackers coach for the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is going to be another hot name out there among all defensive coordinator searches is Brian Flores. But Flores' defense, he runs a 3-4 front just like Ed Donatel. However, him, he has a heavy blitz packages. He trusts his corners a lot more than Ed Donatel did. And that was always my beef with Ed Donatel. I just felt like, yes, the Vikings corners, nowhere near a top 10, top 15 group in the NFL this year. But I think eventually you have to trust your guys to go make a play. He is always in heavy blitz packages. And he also has strong run-stopping sets. The Vikings run defense obviously wasn't the worst uh, part of the Vikings defense this year, but they still struggled. And I think bringing in a guy like Brian Flores and what he does for the run game, Brian Flores, if I got that notification on my phone, I would be absolutely ecstatic if he would become the Vikings' next defensive coordinator. Number four on my list, Johnny Holland. This is a name I get very excited about. He is the linebackers coach for the San Francisco 49ers. And just seeing what he's turned um, – We've seen what he's turned Fred Warner into as one of the best middle linebackers in the NFL. It's incredible. And look at these defensive rankings for the San Francisco 49ers this past year. Damn near top five in everything. Points per game, 16.3, first in the NFL. Yards per game, just over 300, first in the NFL. Points per play, 0.27, first in the NFL. Yards per play, fourth in the NFL, where the Vikings were 31st, giving up 5.9. They were only giving up 5.0. Third down defense, that's the worst part about this 49ers defense, but it's still middle of the pack and still very solid. Giving up third downs at a 38.9 conversion rate. Red zone scoring, they were 20th. Opponents touchdowns per game. Third, yards per rush. This is what I love, 3.2 yards per rush. You just can't run on the San Francisco 49ers. And yards, or rush yards per game, 77.7. Credit to him, what he's done with that linebacker group. And then Nick Bosa, 18 and a half sacks. That's what I'm excited about to see what he did for a guy like Nick Bosa and that whole 49ers, that whole 49ers uh, defensive staff. What he was able to do with Nick Bosa, why can't he just do that with Daniil Hunter? And that's what I get really excited about. You see what these other defensive coordinator options have done for guys like a Nick Bosa. What he could possibly do for a guy like Daniil Hunter is something that gets me really excited because Daniil, Daniil Hunter before this last year, he was a 15 and a half sack a year guy. Could he get back to that with a guy like Johnny Holland? I think so. I got more options and defensive coordinator replacements coming to you guys in a second. We've got a great deal going on at Fanatics right now. And if you head to chatsports.com slash Vikings combo, we got this t-shirt pack. It is on sale right now. They got the blue, they got the gray, and it's on sale for a great deal for all Vikings fans out there. If you just go to chatsports.com slash Vikings combo, get your t-shirt combo today. Getting on to the top three here of my Vikings defensive coordinator hot boards. 
Honestly, all five of these options that you'll see, I would be thrilled for the Vikings to get. But number three, Steve Wilkes. He was interim head coach for the Carolina Panthers this past year. And if you look at his defensive stats, nothing really to write home about. You know, 19th in points per game, 22nd in yards per game, yards per play, 16th, with a third down conversion rate, 23rd. So obviously you look at these numbers, you're not like, oh, we need that guy to be running our defense. But what stands out to me about Steve Wilkes is the leadership he brought to the Carolina Panthers after their coach got fired. He was able to rally that team, and they were able to rally around him and almost make a playoff push where they were fighting with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Week 17 to win that division. This was a Carolina Panthers team everybody wrote off. And I think the Vikings, especially on the defensive side of the football, they are lacking leadership. And I think Steve Wilkes, he would bring leadership and he would kill it as the defensive coordinator for the Minnesota Vikings. He's number three on my list. And then Chris Kosarek, he is number two, another Niners uh, defensive staff member. He is currently the defensive line coach for the 49ers, like I said. And hey, the 49ers D-line, they dominate every single year. Even if they didn't have Nick Bosa, I still think they would be able to get it done and generate pressure on the quarterback. Quarterback, I think this is going to be another sneaky option that you're going to see him thrown around, especially in Miami, potentially him going there, teaming back up with Mike McDaniel. Keep your eyes out for Chris Kosarek. He is an up-and-coming defensive coordinator in this league. Now my number one option, Vikings fans, just relax a little bit. Vic Vangio. I know we get a little scared, and I get a little scared getting another guy, because obviously you had Donatel coming from the Vic Vangio scheme, but Vic Vangio is different. He runs a lot more cover one than a guy like Ed Donatel did, where Ed Donatel was really only running um, a lot of cover four and cover six. But Vic Vangio, he is probably the number one choice on every defensive coordinator hot board this year, and that's another guy, if you get that notification on your phone, I would be maybe thinking Super Bowl if we would get a guy like Vic Fangio. But he was, this past season, he was a consultant with the Philadelphia Eagles. So he's still in the league. It's not like he was out of the league and he's going to have to take that step back. But Vic Fangio, he would be my number one choice as the Vikings defensive coordinator for next season. But I want you guys to chime in here. Who do you think? the Vikings should hire as their next defensive coordinator. I just gave you 10 names. Maybe you have another name that I didn't even mention. Let me know down in the comments on who you think the Vikings should hire as their next DC. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. If you guys did, give me a real one down below in the comment section. This is a favorite part of my day. When I go down to the comment section, when I'm replying to you guys, and I see you guys type real one, shows you guys are diehard Vikings fans and great supporters of this channel. I will see you guys next time. As always, Skull Vikes.